Hey, so in today's video I wanted to share with you guys some makeup products that I've been really loving recently. I know favourites videos are so old school, I don't do them every single month because I don't always have new makeup coming into my collection. I mean, I wish. I mean, Jesus Christ, can you imagine? But I like to do these videos periodically, maybe once or twice a year where I just show you guys what I've been loving recently. I do have a few things that aren't makeup related, but I think you'll like to hear about them. And a few of these things I have purchased this year, I'm actually looking at the three things right here, and I will be mentioning those in my makeup that I have purchased on my low buy haul video that's coming next month, but I still want to talk about them now because they're things that I've been really, really loving. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. The first products I want to mention is actually a collection of products, and it's the Colourpop Pretty Fresh line, basically. The concealer, the tinted moisturiser, and the primer. I was thinking of doing a review on these, but I feel like I'm too late to do my review on them. But I guess this counts as a mini review. These are the best complexion products Colourpop has ever come out with. I've tried their No Filter Foundation, their No Filter Concealer. The No Filter Foundation is one of the worst foundations I've ever tried, like... DISGUSTING! But with my oily skin, these work beautifully. Let's t start with the primer. This is the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. I've used so much of this. I think I'm like halfway done, but I always have to mix it up. These products you do have to mix up a little bit. I think the ingredients in them just tend to separate. But this is such a beautiful hydrating primer. It's really nice. It does keep my makeup on for the rest of the day, although it doesn't control oils, which I don't expect it to because it's a hydrating primer. It's not supposed to control oils. But I find that this still really does work with my oily skin. And I think if you have dry skin or normal skin, like you'd really like this. Actually, I think that this primer could work with every single skin type. This reminds me a lot of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which I actually really did like that, but I had never repurchased really it because it was just too expensive for me. But I really like this primer, it's so nice, and it smells really good too, it smells... Oh, it smells a bit like peaches. Kinda like peaches. The scent isn't too overwhelming, it dissipates after you rub it into your skin, but it's so nice, especially if you're not wearing any foundation underneath. Like, this just gives you a nice, like, hydrated glow. Now the tinted moisturiser, the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturiser, is, I think, my favourite of the three. That's hard to say because I love all of them. <laughs> I'm in the shade Light 6W and it matches me perfectly. The shade range on this is so good considering it's a tinted moisturiser because usually tinted moisturisers, they don't have the best shade range, but since it is light coverage, one shade could work for a bunch of different people. This is so beautiful. I'm actually wearing it today and it is a beautiful light coverage. Like, when you think tinted moisturiser, you think, like, the Glossier, um... What is that? Skin tint, which is like a drop of pigment in like a puddle of water, as Raw Beauty Christie says. But this is really beautiful coverage. It's a solid light coverage. I think you could build it up to a medium, but I prefer to leave it as a light coverage. I'm wearing it today and it just evens out your skin tone so beautifully and it makes your skin look so nice. I'd say it has a satin finish. It's not matte, it's not dewy, it's right in the center. And for me, this lasts all throughout the day. Even when my oils do break through, they do break through faster than the Fenty Beauty Matte Foundation. When my oils do eventually break through, I'd say that my oils start to come through at about the eight hour mark, seven hour mark. They, When they come through, it just looks dewy and nice and you can just, you know, blot it down and it's fine. This foundation doesn't break up on me. It's just a really, really beautiful, beautiful foundation. I wouldn't call this a tinted moisturiser. It is definitely a foundation. And I think it's definitely worth a try. It doesn't cling on to any dry patches on my skin because I do have acne breakouts. I have a nice breakout right there, which is fantastic. And it doesn't cling to the dry patches on it, which is fantastic. So I really do recommend this. And for the price, especially, like, I, this is definitely one of my favourite foundations. This is definitely up there with my Fenty Beauty foundation. Like, it's that good. And finally, the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This is incredible. I actually don't really set this concealer. I find that you don't actually need to set it, which for my oily skin in this economy, it's it's shocking, but it does look really beautiful. Um, You don't need that much concealer because this is, like, pretty high coverage. I'm wearing it on my under eyes today. And I love it. I'm also in the shade Fair 15W. Again, the shade range is pretty good. This shade range particularly caters towards people with olive undertones. And for me, I have like a warm and olive undertone. Like my undertone can be like yellow, but it also leans a bit more olive. 
you can't really tell on camera, but in person it is. So this does like work really well for my skin tone and I really appreciate it because not many like shade ranges out there cater towards people with olive undertones at least in my opinion, like I haven't found that many that do. But again, this lasts all day, it's so pretty, it just, it's one of my favorite concealers. I love it. Seriously, like if you're placing an order on Colourpop anytime soon, like check out the Pretty Fresh line because it's amazing, like Colourpop absolutely killed it. Now the next product I'm gonna mention technically isn't meant for the cheeks, but I use it on my cheeks all the time, and they are my Sugar Pill eyeshadows. Now we all know how much I stand Sugar Pill and their eyeshadow formula, but I've been really loving using these on my cheeks, especially the shades Love Plus, Flame Point, Butter Cupcake, and also Suburbia, so like these ones right here. They are incredible on the cheeks. You do need to like tap off your brush a little bit before you go in on your cheeks. But if you want like a really cool striking blush look, these are the things that I go for. I've been wearing them so much recently and they look really beautiful. I'll actually flash up a few pictures of some looks on screen right here where I've used these as blushes. I've just hit myself in the face. Thank you very much. And I wanted to mention these because it really goes to show that you don't need to buy like every single shade of blush you can just use an eyeshadow. Like, if you have a red eyeshadow lying around, you can use that as blush if you really wanted to. Okay, moving on to eye stuff. So, the eyeliner I want to mention is from Suva Beauty, and it's the Hydra Liner in the shade Space Panda. This is the best white eyeliner I've ever tried, like, in terms of, like, liquid liner. Now, I hesitate to say liquid liner, because this technically isn't a liquid. This is a, like, a cake. Like, a little cake. These Suva liners are water activated, so basically you put a bit of water in the cap, put your brush in the water and then put it in the product, swirl it around and you have an eyeliner. Think of them as like water activated paints but they're specifically like made for your eyes. I'll flash up some looks where I have used this white eyeliner and this is seriously the best. It doesn't crack, it doesn't flake, it lasts really well although it isn't waterproof since it is water activated but I believe there are ways that you can actually make this waterproof. Suva have put that on their Instagram so you can check that out if you'd like. But I don't have a problem because my this lasts perfectly on my eyes. Unless I'm crying but then that's a different story. I definitely recommend Suva eyeliners. I do have one other one in Dance Party which is their bright neon yellow and I'm definitely going to pick up some more because this formula is impeccable. Okay, I have two eyeshadow palettes to mention and some singles. So let's start off with the single shadows. I want to mention that I am completely obsessed with the Divina Sugar Drops collection. I have a random Colourpop eyeshadow in this one. Let me just take that out. These are absolutely incredible. I purchased the entire collection because I'm a greedy little goblin. These don't have a base colour to them. They're literally just duochrome sparkly goodness. So you can layer them on top of other eyeshadows. They're basically eyeshadow toppers and they are perfect for the inner corner, layering on other eyeshadows. Even highlighters, I've used these as highlights before. I'm completely obsessed with these. Also, I want to say that I will be doing a swatch party video on the Divina Sugar Drops shadows and that's coming up later this week. I'm currently editing this video at 1am on the day that you're seeing this. We love it! Also, I got a new editing program. Do you like it? Do you like the edit so far? It's taking me so long to edit this video because I'm playing with this new editing program, but I like, I'm actually obsessed with Adobe Premiere Pro. Like, why didn't I convert sooner? Videos and swatches don't do them justice. You really have to see these in person, but they are seriously incredible. I love Davina. They're one of my favorite indie brands, and this Sugar Drops collection is definitely one of the best releases they've ever come out with. Now, the two palettes I'm going to be mentioning, I actually pu I purchased one of these, and one of them was a gift. So let's start off with the one that I purchased. This is the Sugar Pill Fun Size Mini Palette. I broke my eyeshadow palette no buy for this. <laughs> and let me tell you, it was worth it. <laughs> I mentioned this in my first installment of makeup that I want but I'm not going to buy series, but the more that I thought about it and looked at pictures of it online, the more I absolutely fell in love with it. I mean, it's a pastel rainbow palette. We know that I'm a pastel goblin. These eyeshadows are seriously incredible. They are some of the best pastels I've ever tried. I love sugar pills so much. Also, this eyeshadow palette is gamer inspired, which is like, Another reason why I absolutely adore it, because it says level up your makeup, it's got a little heart mirror and the little health hearts up here, it reminds me of Legend of Zelda, and all of the names are like, gamer related. <laughs> Gaming is one of my hobbies. 
I love gaming. So like an, eye an eyeshadow palette that combines my love of makeup and love of gaming and pastels into one, like, come on now. I will say though, my only gripe with these eyeshadows is the fact that the shade Twitch is the lime green. Why isn't Twitch the purple colour? The Twitch logo is purple, so that just confuses me. The formula is really nice. These are such beautiful mattes. They blend lovely. They have beautiful pigmentation. I've created so many looks with this and I just keep wanting to reach into this palette all the time. I have to force myself to use other things and it's so small and compact and cute. I love it. Now this palette I actually received for my birthday this year from my mum and it's the Melt Cosmetics Millennial Pinks palette. I... When I first saw this palette, I was like, okay, that is so gorgeous. I do not need it because I'm a pink goblin as well. <laughs> Can we tell that I have like a trend with the type of eyeshadows that I like? But anyways, this is such a beautiful pink palette with like a pop of like gray and silver in it. It's incredible. I keep wanting to use this look for everyday looks constantly. <laughs> I've done so many looks with this palette on my Instagram pictures right here. I love Melt's formula so much. They have such a beautiful eyeshadow formula, but I must say that I think that their palettes are overpriced. I do have three Melt palettes, two of them I got as a gift, this one included, and I have to say their eyeshadow palette pricing is way too high. Like, these eyeshadow palettes, if they were like £10 less, then yeah, I would completely say go out and buy them, but they're just a bit too expensive, so wait until you have a sale or I actually told my mum to buy this on my Beauty Bay account and I actually exchanged my points on Beauty Bay for a £10 off discount, so... Technically my mum paid £10 less than this palette is worth. This palette is about £48, so like nearly £50, and that's just ridiculous in my opinion. The metallic shades are absolutely incredible, the mattes blend beautifully, these greys, I don't think that they needed both of these shades. They could have swapped out maybe the shade Euphoria for like a different, a different colour. But I've been loving using it and it's just, it, it just made me so happy. I love the packaging as well. It's incredible. And I actually did a look really recently on my Instagram account using these two palettes together. I'll put that right here. Actually, and I also used one of the Divina Sugar Drops. <laughs> shadows. I didn't actually mean for that to happen, but it was a beautiful look. It's been- it's one of my favorite looks that I've done, actually. The last makeup product I'm going to be mentioning is not really- it's technically not a product, it's more of a technique that I've been doing. So with my liquid lipsticks, specifically with Fenty Beauty's Uncensored uh, Lip Paint, and also with the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Rêve, it's French. I'm, I'm sorry, I just hit myself in the face. I deserve that. <laughs> My French pronunciation isn't top notch. But I've been loving using these liquid lipsticks to do a blotted lip effect. I have been obsessed with blotted lips. I'll put a couple of pictures of looks where I've done the blotted lip effect, where I've just like pack put these on the uh, inner portion of my lips and used my finger to blend them out and just blur them out. I love that look and I actually am thinking of purchasing the Glossier, um, what are they called? The Generation G lipsticks, which are basically like a blotted lip bullet. I'm thinking of purchasing that sometime soon, but I've just been loving doing that blurred lip trend. I think it's so beautiful, so effortless. It makes you look really cute. So I've been doing that constantly with these liquid lipsticks, but especially the Fenty Beauty one because this formula is so liquidy. It's very easy to just blur out. I love it, but you can go overboard with it, so... It's hit or miss sometimes, but I really do love doing that. Okay, the last three things I'm mentioning aren't makeup products, but they are still beauty related. The first one is the nail polish I've been obsessed with, and I'm actually wearing it on my nails today. I actually got a lot of compliments whenever I wear this nail polish, and it's the Barry M Nail Paint. It's the jelly formula, and it's in the shade Nutmeg. This is the most beautiful like rosy toned nude polish I've ever found I've ever found. Barry M is also cruelty free and ridiculously affordable. Like, this was like $3.99. It's insane. Like, I love Barry M's polishes, especially their jelly line. They're the best. And this colour is just so pretty. I know it's out of focus, but like, it's so, 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 so pretty. If you've been looking for like a nude pink colour, this one. This one is, is it. I've only been wanting to paint my nails this colour. Now two things from Glossier, the first one being the Glossier Priming Moisturiser. I ran out of my moisturiser so I thought I might as well try this one. And it's so, 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 so pretty. 
so pretty. You can't see it moisturizer. Hang on a minute. What? This moisturizer is so nice. I have oily skin and it works beautifully on my skin. It's the perfect amount of moisture where it doesn't feel like my skin is like, you know, not moisturized at all, but it doesn't feel like my skin is like drowned in moisture. Does that make sense? Like it's not too heavy on my skin. It's perfect, especially when I'm doing my makeup in the morning. It sinks in so quickly. It's so nice. It doesn't have any fragrance to it, and it's just it's just a pleasant experience. I really do like it. It's a bestseller for a reason, Glossier. And the final thing I'm going to be mentioning is a perfume from Glossier, and it's the Glossier U perfume. I have been wanting this since it launched, and I'm actually not wearing it today. I should. It's so nice. It's really like... I can't really pinpoint the scent. It's like floral but also musky but also like it's feminine but it's, it can be fruity and also fresh and clean it's so nice and on me I'm trying to let me spray it on my arm as well on me it just smells like really warm and also florally it's so nice i'll put the notes from the fragrance up here so you can read them but i've been really loving wearing this it's been like my go-to perfume right now and I'm not really a perfume person, but I really want to be a perfume person. But so far, this is definitely one of my favorite perfumes that I own now. It's so, like the bottle is so pretty. It's got this little thumbprint here, so you can just like hold it like that. It feels nice to hold in your hand. And it just smells so nice. It smells like, it smells familiar to me. Like this is a scent that I've definitely like, it's taking me back to my childhood somehow. It reminds me of Perth, Western Australia. Something in Perth smells like this. Basically, it reminds me of home. I obs I'm obsessed with this perfume. I know that Glossier does do free samples, so if you're placing an order on Glossier, add this as your free sample because it's well worth it just to see if you like the fragrance. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed listening to my favorites recently. I know that it is a really scary time right now, and I'm going to try and upload more content than normal because I know that more people are home social distancing like myself and now I have more time to be home and film videos. I'm gonna try and not talk too much about the situation in the world right now though in my videos because I want people to come to my channel. I want you to be able to come to my channel and just escape from all of that and just, you know, delve into the beauty world. So I do know that talking about makeup can just seem really like trivial right now, but I feel like that's kind of what I need right now. I need to focus on things that I really like. And I think a lot of you might agree, like, it's just nice to, you know, escape from everything that's going on and all of the stuff that's going on in the news. I am aware of what's going on in the world. It's just that I don't want to, you know, I just don't want to make my channel all about that right now. I just want to kind of keep things going as normal and just, you know, talk about things that we really like in the beauty space, you know. But I really hope you're all staying safe, practicing some nice, safe social distancing. And even if you aren't social distancing, I really hope that you're taking the correct precautions. Make sure you wash your hands, hand sanitizer, all of that. I hope your families and yourself are all safe. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can follow me on my social medias. I have two Instagram accounts. I live stream on Twitch three times a week and my Spotify are all linked down below. Thank you so much for watching, wash your hands, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.